guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're here to finally share with you Riker's one year baby update. So today we are finally here to share Riker's one year baby update. Riker turned one on February 9th and it has been a slippery slope ever since. I have been forgetting to record this over and over again, but um, a lot has changed, especially since he's turned one. So I'm kind of glad I waited. Um, but yeah, this big boy, hi. I have no idea how much he weighs. I want to say he's right around Riker is right around 27 pounds. Um, he has not had his he has not had his one year um, doctor appointment yet. He has that scheduled for next Friday, so he has his well check at that time. I want to say he's right around 27 pounds, but he's a big boy. He's got a nice big belly. Can you say hi? Ah. Say hi, Riker. Say hi. Can you say hi? <laughs> he's like I am over this. Yeah. Say this is me. This is me. I got blonde hair, blue eyes, and little curls in the back that are coming in. <laughs> little curls in the back. <gasps> Can you show me your two first? Say, I've got four teeth on top and two teeth on bottom. Four on top, two on bottom. Four on top. And I like to squeal. Yeah. Are you such a cute boy? <gasps> yeah. A da. Yeah. Who's that? Is that you? All right. All right, I'm gonna bring him upstairs and then I will come back. I will come back. All right, all right, all right, all right. Whew. I went and had a snack, waited for Mike to get done sanding, and now here we are. Okay, all right, so like I said before, um, Riker has not had his wellness check yet, so I don't have exact stats on him, but he's right around 27 pounds and he is likely in about like that 70th percentile for weight and 90th percentile for height and his head still. He's been tracking like spot on ever since he was born for that. Oh, I gotta stop burping, okay. So Riker is walking, he is all over the place. I cannot get him to slow down. He is such like a mover. He loves to walk, he just, he goes, he's all over the place. He's all over the place. He's into everything. He loves the pots and pans covered, loves the Tupperware covered. He loves to spread it all out all over the place. It's his favorite thing to do. So Riker has four teeth on top. He has four, five, <laughs> four teeth on top. And then he has two teeth on bottom. He just got his fourth tooth on top um, like a week ago about. And that is about when he started to walk fully by himself, um, like arms up in the air, 
Um, super, super cute. Again, if I haven't put a clip in of that yet, I'll put it in right here. Hi. Riker turned one on February 9th and I also want to include just a little bit of his birthday footage you guys because Okay, so let's like back it up a second. When Riker turned one, I feel so bad. It was like the most anticlimactic, anticlimactic, I am not, I am not talking. Anticlimactic, like first birthday party ever because our entire family had the stomach flu right after we got back from Orlando. So anyways, roll the one year baby birthday footage here. Okay, say one, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Riker. Happy birthday to you. So Riker is in a size 4 diaper right now. He's been in a size 4 for quite a while, um, but he's in a size 4 diaper and we just transitioned him into, um, into whole milk instead of formula. And with Kaya we did almond milk because she had a milk allergy, a milk protein allergy. Riker doesn't seem to have as much of a problem with um, dairy milk, so we did just put him on dairy milk right away. He is on whole milk again. Um, and he has done really, really well with the transition. The only thing that we're struggling with right now is that he doesn't like his sippy cups as much as his Como Tomo bottles. So I'm trying to find like a good in between. I'm testing out a ton of different sippy cups. In fact, this weekend here, I'll be going out and buying a few more. I just buy like one of each kind to see what he likes the best. Um, and then the one that he gravitates towards the most is the one that I will go and buy a bunch of. So that is what I plan on doing this weekend for his transitioning him to a sippy cup and something with handles. Um, he does really good with like 
it's like the leek, like seamless, or seamless. It's like the cup top is just like this, and it's like it's like curved on the inside. Anyways, it's like um, it has like no lip on it. That's what I'm trying to say. It has no lip on it. Um, it's my favorite by far. I'll link it down below for you guys. He does really well with this for like his drinks during the day, but if he wants something for like soothing and going down for like a nap, like the bottle he has before nap time, bottle he has before bedtime, um, he doesn't like to use that sippy cup as much for those times because they're not as comforting. Um, Riker for his food was going to tell you guys, so I plan on doing a like what I feed my um, what I feed my baby and my preschooler in a day. I know I've done this video before for you guys, like where I show you what we all eat. I'm gonna do a video where I just focus on what I feed the kids because I get a lot of requests for this. So um, again, if there's weird noises in the background, it's because the shop is right behind um, the camera, like the shop door is right behind the camera. I'm recording in my entryway, so. So Riker eats pretty normal foods. I've been considering looking into um, like different like, like meal service, like just like, Pre like prepared meals. Um, I have found like quite a few different companies. I think there's like, uh, it's like Nurture Life is one of them. Um, I'm really highly considering ordering some meals from them just because we have such a crazy lifestyle. And sometimes when things pick up like this um, in like our side businesses and when it's really busy at work, um, we just like to have those prepared meals for him. But for the most part, Riker eats exactly what we eat for dinner. I just chop it up for him and he is an eater, man. He is an eater. He will eat anything. Um, he's not on passies, like I said, he's just sucking his thumb and he loves, like, I've, I'm pretty sure you guys saw it in my morning routine video, but what Riker likes to do at night is he likes to like pull all the toys like that are in his arm's reach, like around his crib. He'll pull them up through like his crib bars and he will scatter himself with toys at night. I can't do anything to prevent it, but um, that is what he likes to do. He likes the loveys and we get, um, there's like a specific brand, I believe it's Cloud Island. They have these really cute loveys. That sounded good. Um, they have these really cute loveys at Target and he loves to like snuggle them at night. And he is so happy now. We transitioned him out of his nested bean swaddle sack and, or like the, the Zen sack. And now it wasn't a swaddle, okay? It was just a Zen sack with like the straps on top. And then it had like that weighted piece here. We transitioned him out of that and now he just sleeps in like one piece jammies. Um, Burt's Bees is our favorite. I'll leave those down below in a link for you guys because they have the cutest prints. Oh, they're my favorite, favorite, favorite. They, are, they do run like a little skinnier like in the arms. So be careful of that. Um, I usually size up in those, but they're so cute and they actually have lasted us quite a while too when I size up in them, so good note. Um, but now he just sleeps with his blankie. So I purchased a blanket for his crib before he was born. I had it specially made for him. I will have her linked down below for you guys. Um, all the links today because I know you guys like to see the products that I use for him and I will be doing a one year baby product video too, just kind of what our like staples are. We're pretty minimalistic um, except when it comes to toys because we have grandmas and grandpas and aunties and uncles who would love to spoil this little baby. So. Anyways, we are pretty minimalistic when it comes to other things. We've put his extra saucer away. Of course, his, bo his bouncer is put away, his swing bouncer combo. That is put away now too. Um, and basically, we're just down to toys. Um, but I will go over some products and like just general baby products that I'm still using today at one year. Um, and what I think is an absolute essential for you to keep on hand after your baby turns one. So. All right, you guys, I think that covers Riker's one year update. He's he's getting very vocal. Um, he says mama, dada. Um, he says nena, which is my sister, Kenna. He'll say nena. Um, and we are working on Mimi. We're working on Papa, Grandma, Grandpa. Um, and then we try to say sister a lot. We say sister, sister. So and I think I've heard him say it a couple of times, but his words are coming along. I feel like he's developing like so fast. Just overnight, he started walking. Overnight, he's developed this like the cutest personality. He loves to be naked in his diaper, just like roaming around the house all the time. He's just such a sweet boy, you guys. Like he's a very tender-hearted boy, but he's also very boy. Like loves to smash things and get into things. 
but he's very snuggly and he's very much so mama's boy. But he loves his daddy too. Don't get me wrong, he reaches for his dad. He loves his daddy, but he loves his mama. <laughs> it's always a battle in our house between us. Last thing I wanna mention is that Riker is in about a 12 to 18 month. He fits pretty comfortably in a 12 month um, size clothing but I've been sizing him up to 18 months. So like I said, he is pretty average size for his age. He's always, for months, like in clothing, he's been like spot on for like his age. He's always been like three to six months during that, and you know, six to nine during those months. So comfortable in a 12 month, but we should be moving him up to an 18 month here soon. And now that he's walking, I'm so excited. I'm gonna get him like all of the fun little shoes, like the Vans, and I've got just, so many cute outfit ideas i can't wait to go crazy and buy him all of his summer gear because i seriously have like all of my carts are full just waiting so anyways all right you guys so stay tuned for that what i feed my baby and um, preschooler in a day because i know you guys are really interested in like what i feed the kids in all honesty it's just what i eat but um but yeah, we eat, um, we eat pretty, I would say like paleo is a really good way to describe like the way that we eat, except we have um, dairy. We do have dairy right now. I try to lessen my dairy because it makes my stomach really upset and Kai is kind of sensitive to it, but for the most part, that's how we eat. Um, and also stay tuned for that um, baby essentials video. I get so many questions on like baby products and baby gear and um, like what we're using for strollers now and car seats now and all of those things and I know me myself I go to YouTube videos looking for like the best advice for like the best um, gear and um, products and things like that so I will definitely put together a list of my favorites for you that will be coming up in the next couple of weeks if you guys are new here, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. I'm Morgan and this is my mommy channel and I share all of my daily vlogs and mommy stuff and cleaning and grocery hauls, like basically everything related to mom life and like young woman entrepreneurial life like I shared here on my channel. So, all right you guys, I will see you on Friday for a day in the life video and I'll see you again on Sunday for a big gigantic grocery haul, like a $500 grocery haul. So, and I will see you in a couple days for another really fun video without all the hand gestures. Okay, okay, bye guys. Air compressor's going off. Good, it's good.